Let's just watch. She's underway. I had to take the mic away from my face and give a quick whoop. I'm aware that I can't uh, be too loud here, but she's got to get some cheers. Settling into that position, getting up to speed. Um, tell us, uh, the extra time to get up to speed uh, from completely at rest makes a big impact on your first lap. Uh, and this has typically been seven seconds or so for Molly. Uh, and these seconds have to be factored into the pacing for the rest of the hour, such that the time can be made up over the remainder of the effort. But uh, it's, it's a bit tricky. The, um, the humidity right now is 56%. Uh, I imagine you folks can be begin to hear in the background noise that that rushing sound that you hear is uh, heavy rain pouring down on the roof of the velodrome. Uh, and then to complete my data, um, the, the barometric pressure here is 813 millibars. Uh, that is far, far below what you have at sea level. Uh, the, the, the standard air, uh, air pressure at, at sea level is 1,013 millibars. We're exactly 200 millibars below that. If she holds this, she's going to be over three quarters of a lap up on the current record. Yeah, she's she's all she's going to uh, she's going to add almost a, almost a full lap to to the uh, to the record. M maybe not quite, but it's going to be it's going to be close. She is past it. She has now got the world record. Molly Van Helling has just set the women's world hour record so every every meter she covers now go molly 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 okay she did about i'm i'm saying it's going to be around 46.3 kilometers now she's there really she's going fast she still has to finish his lap she's oh, molly, molly. <laughs> She, Please forgive she, us. We, 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 we have to admit that we, we she, are not uh, uh, objective, neutral just uh, commentators here. <laughs> We're we, big fans of Molly. And she did it. Outstanding. Look at her. Look so at it'll, her. So it'll take a while for the... Um, for the oh, Molly! Sorry, oh, we can't help but cheer. <laughs> oh, she has a huge <laughs> grin on her face. Yeah. I she, she that's not a grimace, I can today. tell. Give us a big smile when she yep. came by. <laughs> big smile. You can see, oh, I'm so look happy at her head her. bobbing. She's just, she must have just been on the ragged edge of that breathing. Oh. She's taking huge gulps of air. But, uh, you know, those last two laps, I was kind of a little fixated on the track. And, and of course, there she's there. She How does it feel after an effort like that? Thanks, Ellen. I, uh, I just feel really fortunate. You know from being a racer who's done lots of you know, national and world-class races, you never know if everything's going to come together on race day. All you can do is you know, try to control everything in your control. And every day this week, I've been thinking, does my knee hurt? Am I getting the sniffles? Am I going to be 100%? And, um, and, uh, and you know, is it going to be too hot, too cold? Um, so I feel very fortunate that everything seemed to come together today. And uh, lots of people, work, family, friends, have made sacrifices so that I could do this special once-in-a-lifetime thing. Um, so I wanted to come through for them. I think it was Dr. Hutchinson who said that an hour record is one-third horsepower, one-third aerodynamics, and one-third logistics. And I laughed and I thought, it's way more than one-third logistics. <laughs> um, and everyone knows that that's... That's Rob, and um, it, it's crazy the amount of time and energy uh, that he puts into uh, um, to the equipment and think all day today. I couldn't get his attention because he was like like this on weather.com to try to figure out when was the barometric pressure and temperature going to be ideal for the attempt. So um, he thought about every little thing, and um, I, I can't... Uh, concentrate on the execution and my training and my nutrition and everything else, even with the help of my coach, Dave Jordan, and my nutritionist, Jan Guzman, uh, still, I couldn't do, I can't do any, any more. And so Rob takes up the slack, and I think the slack is really like 90%. And uh, then, and again, 
I, um, I was motivated to put up my 10% uh, to make up the difference. 46.274. So another huge smile from Molly Van Howlen. We have cheers for Molly here.